in camps, which are over, over for eight, eight years old. And um, also offered today is a video analysis service for anyone that is interested in getting the videos broken down and help them uh, prepare for matches or prepare to beat some kids that here at the tournament today. Um, last night, kids, is, is uh, um, I really appreciate um, being able to come out to this event and have me out here for this event today. Appreciate uh, being able to watch some of you guys scrap. Love to see some of you guys in the camp in the future. And the last thing is, stay in your stands, keep your elbows in tight, and good luck today. Now again, the video analysis by Sean Charles, I'm telling you what, that's an extremely great opportunity. You're going to be at the Extreme booth. If you have video of your wrestler and you want him to break it down, if you want him to give you some pointers, folks, you got an NCAA Division One coach who's, who's coached Bubba, Bubba Jenkins, uh, Robles from ASU, and he will give you the same type of coaching. If you want to take your video over there, he will definitely help you out. Now, my second guest, folks. This, this young man is an NCAA All-American. He's an NCAA Division I champion. He's a USA FILA Junior World Freestyle Champion. On May 16th at the UFC, he will be entering the Octagon in Manila against Luke Bixlow Barnett. Folks, let's give a big hand to the Filipino Red Machine, Mark Munoz! Hey guys, I appreciate being here. Now, the thing about wrestling, guys, wrestling metaphors life so much. Because when you get held down, you gotta figure your way to get out of it. And that's what I love to talk about, is your life experience is shaping and molding who you are today and who you are in the future. Even more importantly, your life choices do that even more. And wrestling teaches you how to do that. Wrestling gives you the character to be able to be successful in life. And that's what I love to talk about when I teach my club or when I coach in college at, uh, at Oklahoma State University or at UC Davis. I love transforming young men into young men, into men of character, integrity, and leadership. And that's what this sport's all about. And that's why you guys wrestle. That's why you guys are here at the Rocky Mountain National, because this tournament is an amazing tournament. Keep wrestling, keep building your character, and you guys will get far, all right? So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, Get involved in the rest and get involved in these tournaments. So thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, Mark Munoz. Again, March 16th, you will be able to see him live on television. And folks, at this time, we need the two wrestlers here on Matt Six. We will be scrapped, and we will show up before we start. Matt Mesra, please report to Matt Six. All right, folks, if you would please. I would like to pray for these wrestlers before we start. If you would join with me, if you would like to agree with me, I would like to take a moment to do that. Thank you, God. We thank you, and we come to you in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father God, that you would send your ministering angels to this room today. That you would protect, by the blood of the Lamb, you would protect these young boys from any injury. And Lord God, I pray and lift up these coaches who give them countless hours, tremendous amount of stress sometimes, Lord, that they take the privacy of their home. I pray for them. I pray that you would bless them. I pray, Lord God, that you would bless their family and their businesses. Because if they can't get away and spend time with these wrestlers, that they can't touch the lives of some of these wrestlers, Lord God, that they change. And that's what it takes to keep these kids off the streets, up from away from the wrong crowds, off of drugs and alcohol. You gotta thank your coaches more often. And we thank you, Lord God, for 
everything that you give them because they give their lives to these kids. And Lord God, we thank you that we can come in freedom today. That we live in the best country in the entire world. And because of our military, we have the freedom today to come together and enjoy a weekend of wrestling. And we pray, Lord God, this in the name of Jesus. If you agree with me, please say amen. amen. All right, folks, and to honor this wonderful country we live in, if you would please, the rest of you, raise your hands or jet, raise yourself and if you would take your hats off. And as we honor this country with a national anthem. What did you do? Can you see?